This isn't science fiction. A team of Chinese researchers just published a paper in Juul. Yeah, that's a real journal, not a protein shake. And they say they've figured out how to extract water from lunar soil and turn it into fuel. Yeah. It's called a, a photothermal strategy, translation. They blast moon dust with light to make heat and use that heat to break stuff down into hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon monoxide. Boom, instant space juice. You get water, you get gas. And if you exhale carbon dioxide, they can even turn that into fuel. Astronauts fart and the spaceship flies. It's beautiful. I mean, technically, yeah. The future of space travel might depend on astronaut breath and moon dirt. It's a weird world. And get this. They tested all of this on actual lunar samples from China's Chang'e 5 mission. Real moon rocks. Real experiments. Real success. They managed a one-step system, extract water, and process CO2 in a single setup. Liu Wang, one of the lead researchers, even said, and I quote, We never fully imagined the magic that the lunar soil possessed. Man's out here calling moon dirt magical. Meanwhile, I can't get a coffee maker that works past a week. Right? But in all seriousness, this could be a game changer. Water is heavy. Shipping it from Earth costs about $83,000 a gallon. That's not water. That's liquid Bitcoin. So if they can extract water and make fuel on the moon, it opens the door to permanent moon bases, long-term missions, even Mars hops all without resupply missions draining Earth's wallet. Big catch, though, and this all worked in a lab. The real moon, a bit more hostile, radiation, extreme temps, low gravity, and no Postmates delivery. Facts. Still, it shows how far China's space game has come. Two decades ago, they were barely in the race. Now, they're grabbing moon rocks, running lunar chemistry, and aiming for a moon base by 2035. Meanwhile, the U.S. is busy slashing NASA's budget and canceling telescopes. So, yeah, there's a shift happening. It's not about who plants the flag anymore. It's about who builds the gas station. 